Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Andreas Janka. I'm the product manager for DSM. And some of you may have heard it already, the great news. DSM received its first Ivandi Neurons connector. And in today's video, I would like to give you a quick demo how to configure, how to set up the new connector and what data you can currently obtain from that. Let's start the demo. In order to set up a connector, you usually need to install the connector server utility on your network first. In order to do that, we're going to navigate to the admin section, connectors. We're going to add a server. We're going to download the connector server utility. The connector server is software that you install in your local environment that can relay data to the Ivanti Renos platform. And it's actually an Ivanti Renos agent that will act like a connector server. We will have to install the cloud agent on a machine that has a connection to the DSM database. Our recommendation is to install it on the same machine where the DSM management point is installed and configured. We also have a number of options on how to install the cloud agent. We can either install it manually or we can use DSM itself. For this demo, I have prepared a software package in my environment containing the cloud agent. I'm going to trigger a local installation right now since this machine is also my DSM management point. The installation will happen really quickly can navigate under the Programs and Features view and we will see that the Event Union's agent has been installed. However, it will take a couple of minutes in a production environment in order for the agent to check in with the backend, download its policy and corresponding engines in order for the DSM connector to run. I'm going to use the Event Union's agent status utility to force a check-in so that we don't have to wait now for the entire policy sync process. We'll see that the Ivanti Automation Engine has been installed, as well as the Collector Engine, which is everything that's needed for the DSM connector to run. We can go ahead and close the utility right now. And once the connector is installed, this is what you should expect in the installed programs. The connector will install in C program files, Ivanti, Ivanti Cloud Agent. The connector server uses HTTPS port 443 to communicate. For more information about URLs and IP addresses, you can check our article on the Ivanti community. And if we now switch to the Neurons console, we will see that we have successfully configured a connector server, DSM2021, and it's active. Now we're ready to go ahead and configure the DSM connector. Also important to know is that you can have as many connector server and connectors as you need to gather data from different sources when and how you want to. Each connector server can have multiple connectors, even of the same type, or accessing the same source application. I'm going to go ahead and configure the Ivanti Desktop and Server Management one. The wizard is fairly simple. We need to specify a connector name. We also need to specify the DSM SQL connection details. So we need to configure the credentials and we're going to have to select between SQL authentication and Windows authentication to the DSM2021 database. I'm going to go ahead with SQL authentication for now. And we'll go ahead and select the schedule. We're going to want to run the connector daily at 4 a.m. in the morning. We can also set the number of days to gather data for. To limit the amount of data that is gathered for the Neurons platform, especially in large production environments, we can set a threshold for a specific number of days. 
The connector will not include records in the payloads unless the device attributes have changed in this interval. For this demo, I'm going to place a value as 1. Now I'm gonna save the connector. I can see that it's gonna be listed out under my DSM2021 connector server. I click on it, you can see some details and as well its status. And it's now showing as being scheduled as we expect to run on a daily basis. However, we have a number of options in here and we will select run now in order to speed up the demo. The DSM connector is now running and it will take a couple of minutes for the connector to start importing data. However, we expect that during this demo, as I have only four devices in my DSM database, the connector will run rather quickly. You can see already that the status is completed and I have four results, which are the four agents that I have in my DSM environment. If we now navigate into the device view, and if I use the search bar to type in the IP address range that I use for my DSM environment, I can see the four objects in here. If we open one of them, we can see some data that was gathered by the DSM connector, some general data, network or hardware data. If we go ahead and open the details section, we can look at the raw information that was sent to the neurons platform. We can navigate to various tree nodes over here However, I'm going to insist on the software one, as in here we can see the software and the patch packages that were assigned and installed to this agent. We can even see details like the revision number of the package. Also, under the security nodes, we can see a list of all the vulnerabilities we've seen earlier on in my DSM environment for this agent. Also important to know, in the discovery metadata, we can see the connectors that were used to brought all of this data. As you gather data about your devices, you'll be able to view the Neurons platform smart advisors. And we'll be able to access this functionality if we go into Insight Smart Advisors. Smart advisors show pre-configured charts and some of them also offer brief recommendation based on the important factors in your environment. Let's go ahead and look at the device reconciliation one. In here we can reconcile various data sources that the data was gathered from into the Neurons platform offering a single pane of glass between multiple sources of truth. As an example can combine the Microsoft Active Directory connector with the Avanti Desktop and Server Management one. We can see that we have 378 devices discovered by the two of them. When you click at Smart Advisor, such as Reimage or Replace, Avanti offers recommendations based on devices on your network and on the filter that on the charts that are being shown. If you click a specific category in the filter charts, we'll only show the devices that fall into that category. So this is a great example of actionable insights in order to optimize our software and hardware assets. With that, I think we can conclude our demo for today. We're really excited about the opportunities ahead of us in order to enable Ivanti DSM to go cloud. Thank you all for joining. Have a great day. Additional information and a step-by-step -step manual on how to configure the connector you can find in the online help and more information, more general information about the connector you can also see in the official blog post. Both items I linked below for your convenience. And that's about it for today's video. Let me know what you think about the connector and hope to hear from you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.